Yahoo Fantasy Baseball Tucson Toros group. We're going to be talking about Week 6, Waveland and Sheffield taking on Bronx Bombers. Uh, looks like, we'll just get right to it. This was a blowout in favor of Waveland and Sheffield. 9-0-1. Bombers puts up a donut this week. Waveland improves to 33-22-5, while Bronx Bombers is now 22-34-4. Unfortunate decision for Bombers. Uh, putting up a donut this week after having such a big victory over rival Lucky last week. Uh, Waveland just shut the door on Bombers in almost every category. Bombers is the uh, Bombers puts up the second donut in team history. They put up a donut last season as well. Uh, and the fifth regular season donut in league history. Uh, meanwhile, Waveland and Sheffield's back in the top six with the dominant victory. Biggest win for any team this season as well. So Sheffield, very impressive. Uh, despite the roster moves for Bombers, Bombers started making some moves and moving the bench and starters around, trying to pick up some stats. Not much of a contest. The lone draw here was a 6-6 tie in saves. Of all categories to have a brutal dogfight, it was saves, 6-6. Six six. Taking a look at the highs and lows, Waveland had a high for the season in runs and stolen bases. Uh, eight players had multiple runs scored. For Waveland and uh, three stolen bases apiece from Bobby Abreu and Jason Hayward. Uh, those guys who hit homers and steal bases were doing really well for Waveland. Uh, lows this week in homers. Uh, basically, looks like the Waveland and Sheffield roster dropped the long ball this week and picked up the old fashioned manufactured run uh, to pick up uh, better statistics this week. So uh, the 9 0 1 finish is not going to alert Waveland and Sheffield to uh, worry about that home run total this week. Bronx Bombers, high-low, uh, highs for the season in saves and whip. Uh, Jonathan Broxton's back on his game, picked up four saves this week. Uh, staff of just six pitchers probably contributed to the fact that uh, Bronx was able to put up a pretty good score in the whip category. Uh, the fewer pitchers you have, as long as they pitch well, your whip's always going to wind up low. Uh, Bronx, though, had season lows in runs, homers, RBIs, stolen bases, and wins. So just a really bad week for Bronx. A perfect storm of bad for Bronx Bombers this week. Uh, the only stolen base on the team was Derek Jeter. Uh, at the plate, Waveland swept all five categories. Five players hit over 300. Three players uh, hit under 200. Uh, five players hit homers. Ten players had multiple uh, RBIs. So just fantastic stats by the offense. Casey McGee. Uh, contributed to five different categories. Uh, McGee was across the board probably the best player for Waveland this week, uh, or maybe most underappreciated uh, player this week for sure. Bronx Bombers had five players at under 200. That's going to kill your average every week. David Ortiz is back on track, had, had great stats, uh, very Ortiz-esque numbers, uh, but the rest of the team basically shut down. Uh, just for example, Luis Castillo had no runs, hit 238 this week. Ryan Braun, no homers, no RBIs, hit 143 this week. And Grady Sizemore, one RBI and 143 average as well. So uh, the offensive uh, power, just not there for Bombers this week. In pitching, Waveland, 4-0-1 out of the five categories. Didn't give up a single category, obviously. Uh, tied in save 6-6. Six, six. Waveland used four closers with uh, to get to six. Bombers used two. Uh, so they took different approaches, but still managed to put up quite a fight in the saves category. Uh, lack of pitchers kept Bombers whip low, as we mentioned. Waveland overcame this, though. Still picked up the win in the whip category. Four closers with a whip of one or lower. That's always going to get the job done. When your closers don't impact your whip, uh, they're doing their job. Uh, looking at the rest of the uh, matchup, Bronx had lineup issues. Uh, the lone win there was uh, Rick Porcello. Uh, J.A. Happ is on the DL, and Ben Sheets and Kevin Correa were not used this week. That's definitely going to hurt Bombers. Uh, if those pitchers don't get in the lineup, you can't get their stats. Plain and simple. And uh, Bombers is still struggling with Ryan Roland Smith. Uh, he's really underperforming this week. Has really hurt uh, Bombers' overall cause the last couple weeks. Moving forward, Waveland Sheffield's now fourth in the standings after the big win. Is only five and a half out of first and gets Woodalas next week. Woodalas not off to a good start this season, so that could be a perfect opportunity for Waveland to build some momentum. And uh, Bronx Bombers is now 13th in the standings. Drops out of the top 12. Remember that. Top 12 seed postseason play, so you definitely want to either make the playoffs or the consolation round. 13th is not going to get it done. One game out of 12th, though, 
Uh, so right there on that 12th, 13th cutoff there. Uh, 12th place is Rival Lucky. So Bombers definitely probably wants to get the get the lineup set. Unfortunately, though, going to have to face Jimmy Dugan next week. Dugan, defending champion in the league. Going to be a tough matchup for Bombers.